Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, some tips to rank up faster in rank multiplayer. Now, as I'm recording this, less than 1% of all the players are legendary rank. If you're legendary already, this video might not be for you. But if you're trying to rank up, maybe you don't want to be legendary. But if you just want to get the free Karambit, for example, well, I got some tips to help you rank fast. Now, this video is sponsored by Call of Duty Mobile. Check out the game, link in the description. You can download the game for free. There's like two weeks left before the end of this season. We're gonna have a new season soon. Now, that's the reason I made this video today to help you guys rank up faster. And like I said, maybe you don't wanna be legendary, but maybe you wanna get some rewards, especially that one. At Master 5, you need to reach Master 5 to get the second ever free Karambit, the Piercing Hawk it is also an epic Karambit. The first free to play Karambit was a rare. So this one is super nice and maybe you guys want to get it. So like I said, you got maybe two weeks left. If you check the battle pass in the game, it says 16 days. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, you have less than 15 days to do it. So here are a few tips that really will help you guys. Now the number one secret to rank up faster right now, this season only, is play kill confirm in rank. There was a mail a couple days ago and they say from now until November 15, you will earn 50% extra rank XP for playing this game mode. So whenever you go in rank multiplayer, you can go at the bottom and select your game modes, uncheck everything and check kill confirm only and then confirm so whenever you rank up now you will only play kill confirm and that's what makes the biggest difference right now the last two sessions i play rank on stream i only played 11 games of kill confirm to get from grandmaster 4 to grandmaster 5 and 17 games for grandmaster 5 to legendary just because of the extra xp even if you like lose two win one lose two win one lose two win one it's enough to rank up, you will still gain. But on top, if you get a win streak, like two, three, four wins in a row, that's gonna be very fast, guys. You get 50, 60, 70, 80 points for a win. And when you lose, you lose the same as usual. So depending on your performance, you might lose 20, 25, you can lose 40 points, but still if you lose two in a row and you win one, it's gonna more than make up for it. You're gonna gain more points for one win. Just to put it into perspective, 50% extra means every win is like a win and a half. So every two wins, you get an extra win in the, the points compared to playing the other game mode. So you win two, you get a free win, for example. Now you need to be aware of the specifics of the game mode itself because it's gonna affect the way you play and maybe the way you use your score streaks also. Some examples I've seen is some score streaks are very good in other game modes, but in Kill Confirm, they don't do the same because in Kill Confirm, it doesn't matter if you get tons of kills, but you cannot confirm them, they go to waste because they're gonna be denied. So the biggest example I've seen is the Predator Missile. It's one of the cheap score streaks that's usually pretty good in Domination and hard point and all that in kill confirm is not that great many times in my last two sessions i think people get a kill at the other end of the map and then we just respawn and deny so your predator kills are just going to waste and they're gonna give you points for the kills of course but if you don't win the game it's not worth it so i like the cheap score streaks i'm back to using the shock rc in this game mode uav is gonna help your whole team I was using Killer Drone. I don't think it's got the best value, but like I said, it's gonna give you points. You could use other stuff like the Sam Turret, um, but then again, like I said, the Lightning Strike, the Cluster Strike, a lot of these kills, if you cannot confirm them, same thing for the Swarm. It's expensive, it's gonna get you kills super far. If you cannot confirm them, it's not worth it. So use the cheap score streaks, guys. I say also use Hardline for the extra points. If you score more than your teammates, you're gonna rank up faster too. I really like the lightweight perk, but it's personal. I like to move around fast. I think persistence is a big waste in this game mode. It's only 40 points. The games can be fast. 
And like I said, the big score streaks, they're not gonna do that much for you. Another popular option would be Flight Jacket. Now the reason why is if you can survive the Martyrdom, because also this perk is a bit more popular in Kill Confirm. In Kill Confirm, you change your way to play. So whenever you get a kill, you got to rush to go Confirm. But just because it's a reflex, by the time you realize there's a grenade on the ground, sometimes it's too late to escape. Uh, so Martyrdom is popular. You can use Flight Jacket to counter that if you feel you're dying too much. But my personal preference is Lightweight. Another thing I want to say, guys, I'm a big fan of the Dog and the Shock RC. Uh, they do pretty good in this game mode. You can follow the dog and he's gonna kind of protect you and you can maybe finish the kills. If someone's shooting the dog, you shoot the person. It's a very, very cool uh, operator. I love it. Now, another thing I wanted to say is don't feel bad for using meta guns. Uh, a lot of guys are complaining on social medias about MX-9, uh, the Holger, the M13, whatever is working. I'm gonna say, it, don't be afraid to use the best guns. Why would you not? Because your opponents will use them anyways. And I'm telling you, people use the good guns. So they change every season. It's called the meta. It's what's the best weapon at this point. And you should use it because if you don't, you're gonna die to it anyways. I say two players of the exact same skill, if they face each other, same reflex, same ping, they both shoot at the same time. If one of the two guns kills faster, well, the user's gonna win the fight, right? So you don't wanna be the other guy. And I'm telling you, don't don't be afraid, okay? Don't be ashamed. Now, one more tip I wanna give you guys for kill confirm is play as a group. Even if you play with randoms, maybe try to follow one of your teammates because I found out very often people do it uh, to either finish their teammates' kills or deny when their teammates die, you can pick up the dog tag before your opponent. So if you come face to face with two or three guys, you're gonna maybe kill one or two, but you're gonna die to the third guy. If you're alone, you're gonna die. So not only your kills will go to waste because your opponents will deny your kills, but they will also kill you and get your dog tags. So if you run with another guy, it gives you a much better chance. Even if your teammate die, like I said, if the opponents don't confirm, they don't get the point. So it's different from TDM. If you played a lot of team that match, it's not the same mindset and the more you play the more you will understand what i say by run together run with someone even if you don't know him maybe try to follow someone now my final tip will be guys please shoot down the uavs shoot down the air score streaks because nobody does it i've been playing rank for two years every season i get legendary pretty much and i it seems like i'm always the only one shooting down the uavs the uavs make a difference if you don't shoot them, you will lose more games. As simple as that, because your enemies know where you are. And Ghost is not super popular, I mean the perk. So you will lose more games. It makes a difference if you shoot it as soon as you hear enemy UAV. Look at the sky, try to shoot it fast. I swear if you do that, you will win more games. You will rank up faster because of that. But also you get more points. It's like 100 points for shooting down a UAV. So you get more points, you get more score streaks because you get more points and you win more games because your teammates will die less. It makes a world of difference. So that's my last tip for you guys today. So once again, until November 5, 50% extra points for playing Kill Confirm. So do it. Go get your free Karambit. Go get Legendary if you're stuck. It's a very, very good way to rank up fast. So good luck, guys. Let me know in the comments how you're doing this season. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, smash the like. Don't forget to subscribe for daily comable videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.